A big send-off for a big man. Jonah Lomu's coffin is brought to New Zealand's home of rugby, Eden Park. There has never been a player like Jonah, and there will never be another like him. The former All Black died 12 days ago from a cardiac arrest at the age of 40. He'd just returned from supporting the All Blacks' successful World Cup campaign in England, and it's believed a blood clot on his lung from the long-haul flight contributed to his death. It's a fitting send-off for someone that uh, probably personified a lot um, about you know, the values of rugby. Lomu became famous as the youngest ever All Black when he was 19 years old. He was a powerful force on the field who took everyone by surprise. He's still on his feet, Lomu could score! We tried to stop the ball getting to Jonah, and that was the hard thing to try and... Uh, but when he got the ball in his hands, he was devastating. When you play on the wing and you're 6 foot 5 and 118 kilos, and you're very fast and you can step and you've got all that power, I mean, that, that set him apart. Lomu is credited with being rugby's first ever global superstar. There is no doubt that Jonah's performance at that Rugby World Cup and his huge popularity in South Africa was the catalyst for the game turning professional later that year. But just months after the 1995 World Cup campaign, he was diagnosed with a rare and serious kidney disease. Despite his illness, Lomu played 63 All Black tests in the number 11 jersey. World Rugby Chairman Bernard Lapasse joined thousands of mourners for the public farewell. Which was lifted by heartfelt performances by students from Lomu's former schools and an emotional haka from past All Blacks. Lomu leaves behind his wife Nadine and two young sons and a sporting mad nation who will sorely miss him. Jonah Lomu now leaves Eden Park for the final time. His casket will head to his family home for a private funeral. Carly Flynn, Al Jazeera, Auckland, New Zealand.